Today we read uh, verse 55 from Vilap Kushmanjali, the lamentations of our. O Manokya Ridaye. That means girl with a beautiful heart. O Sadaye, O merciful girl. Will that beautiful, blessed day come when this maidservant of yours will massage your feet and Sri Rupa Manjari takes care of your hands? Such a beautiful verse. The notes, Sri Raghunath Das is agitated by feelings of love and separation. He is deeply absorbed in his Swarupa Vesh. And he has also no other aim than Swamini's lotus feet. In Braj Vilasa Stava, he says, my heart is very agitated by remembering even a drop of the sweet divine nectar ocean that is the Yuga Lakishore. The Acharyas are our example, so we can learn from them. Our lives should be completely an allegiance to them. So they are our navigators, our Gurudev said. It is the nature of greed that it will not let a person in peace until he has gotten the object of his desire. It is the nature of greed that it will not let a person in peace until he has gotten the object of his desire. So that means we are all not in peace. Maybe some, but I can say from my side, no. This means that when we think of something for a moment and the mind is drawn to something else, the next moment, we cannot really speak of genuine greed. This is what Gurudev said, one pointness. When the aspirant performs bhajan in allegiance to the acharyas, a tiny drop of their waste devotional greed may become infused in his heart. So we need a injection of the Acharyas. How sweet are the activities of Sriman Mahaprabhu's associates? Whether they were householders or renunciants, renunciants, they were all free from attachment to sense gratifications. Because actually they were eternally liberated souls. Their auspicious dissension into the material world was meant for distributing tangible devotional experiences and detachment from sense gratification. Every mouthful of food causes nourishment, satisfaction, and cessation of hunger. In bodily consciousness, I cannot understand that I, that I am Ratha's maidservant. 
as long as I, th I, I think that I'm the body, I cannot understand that I'm a maidservant. I just like to be connected with Maya. I just like to be connected with Maya as long as I'm identified with my material body. Sri Narottam Thakur sings, the senses that dwell in our bodies are so many enemies. Nobody cares to stop them. My eyes here, but don't listen. My eyes here. My ears here, yeah. You stood eyes. Okay. Okay, I think it should be ears. But don't listen, and my heart knows, but does not realize. So we, we listen to the scriptures, but we don't, no, we hear about the scriptures, but we don't listen. And we know, but don't realize. One thing is for sure, this body cannot stay. We know from many examples. I'm chewing the thorns of sense gratification like a camel, camel who cuts his mouth and tongue by chewing thorns instead of eating the mango pits of devotion, like the cuckoo. I'm burning to death in the fire of Maya, but still I will not relish the nectar of devotion. Sri Narottam sings, I consider the poison of sense gratification to be happiness. Also, I should know it to be miserable. Poison of sense gratification. Taste the nectar of the Govinda subject and associate with his devotees. No loving devotion to be real. Loving devotion is real. Real in this sense means also eternal. What is not eternal is not real, actually. Govinda's service is bliss, and the lack of his service is misery. I desire service, being surrounded by the Sakis. That service contain the greatest bliss. When you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. Then, you can experience universal love as it is. Then the spiritual world is sweet. The material world... This explain more. When you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. To love God actually in our case means to serve Radhika because she is the embodiment of the love to God. We not desire to serve God directly. We are the servants of His most Beloved Radhika. 
That means love to God, not directly. Radhe Radhe, <clears throat> Radhe Radhe. Can I say yes. something? <clears throat> also, here Baba is saying that this. Can you read this? Oh, can you read this again? The last one scattered. The the, the sentence with scattered. When you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. That is, that is also what Gurudev is always saying, that when you love God, when you love the divine couple, when you love in the divine way, you will be remembered everywhere in the universe about the divine. So Gurudev is always saying that you have to recognize the divine in every living being and everything we see. So this means these remnants. Remnants means something we remi we be reminded of are scattered throughout the universe. So everything we see can be in connection with the divine. Hmm. The example for that, yeah. good if yes. No, no. It's me. Huh? In the temple and in all circumstances. What is happening is also a sea of sound. What we are doing, I am doing the sound. It's universal. It's captured everywhere. It's not one pointed one place, but one pointed one place has two pitch. Then it becomes everywhere. One pointed, one form, one place, one mind. One love. Uh, one love. That is it. Then it's everywhere. What is happening is there. So it's become a scattered man. Baba one time Baba one time was saying that in Manjari Bhav, in Raganuka Bhakti, we see everything as the everything is in the kingdom of Swamini. I like this very much. The whole universe is the kingdom of Swamini when there is bhakti. Without bhakti, we cannot have the kingdom of Swamini. I like this very much. And wouldn't it be um, perhaps my seva to see in everything Sri Radhika? And isn't it the the gift of of this body to have the chance to see Swamini in everything and to to live it in all um, connections and and also if there is failure and also hatred and pain and suffering but this is a kind of this grace of this this love with, which is all surrounding and, and i have to connect to to use this this bodily possibility to to get it to appreciate it to love it to be with it So beautiful. very wonderful. Very beautiful. What you are doing now with Baba is all Baba Mansi. So simple, so easy way. My Gora Sunda is totally fixed. Radhe, Radhe, can I say some? Sorry. Yes. I'm. I'm just uh, this sentence that uh, when you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered through the universe. Uh, in my mind, also is coming that uh, this is, for example, when uh, Prabhupada came here with his example, he. And give this remnants to everyone. 
St. Francis All Saint person in, in, in the Charya. So it means that they give their remnants and they give the, their example, which is going in opposite side of the material nature. So without this, their remnants, their example, we cannot go out. We, we don't have uh, any choice. So I will just, this is what I want to say. Good. But the past is this, that she's gone. Hmm? This is also what? very. This is a starting. Your zone is tough. And those people will bring you everywhere. Every part of us. Part of the universe is modeling something. Where I see, I see my shaman. He is also glorifying the Shama Radhika. See the Bhagavad Gita last line. You cannot be a normal without taking shelter of the what is normal that we are abnormal? Really, we are abnormal. Till we don't come to our salute. And Prabhupada say, this salute in page four introduction, our goal of spiritual life is a relation, and this relation we have to evoke our salute and salute siddhi. This is the meaning of a spiritual development. We don't explain more, but in Uddesha Amrita, if you go and see, he explained many details. So all Mahatan is telling the same thing. But you have to go deep to the light. So I will recommend if you read Bhagavad Gita, only read of Prabhupada. If you read Vilap Prasamaya, only read of Mahindra. Then you will realize the beauty of Bhagavad Gita and beauty of Chaitanya Chaitanya. This is this verse is proved by our acharyas because they scattered the remnants to the whole universe and it's described that the holy name for example these are the remnants of this that they will uh, chant in every village and every uh, city 500 years ago and we can see they are these remnants are now reached even the the jungle they reached all all places and we, i read again i desire service being surrounded by the sakis
That service contained the greatest bliss. And our Acharyas are doing this service. They are these Sakis and Manjaris. And scattering the remnants to all universe so that we can get some remnants from them. We got it. Then we can experience universal love as it is. Tarun Baba, your, your Baba, let us experience this love by the mercy of this book. And this book is also a remnant. And Gurudev is explaining, these are the real remnants we get. And so we can experience universal love as it is. It's the beauty we are in, 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 we are in, we're taking part of this now, in that moment, by the mercy of the Sakis, who are actually in this service, that is not that they are in the past time doing some service, no, they're doing this now, in that moment, and we get some remnants from them. We are connected by our Gurudev. He is a living example of this remnants and your Gurudev Tarun also. And we, we are eager to digest this, to experience universal love as it is. Then the spiritual world is sweet. Even the material world is sweet if we are fixed in our Swarup. And sweet Krishna is even more sweet. Sweetness will be pervading inside out. So beautiful describe, description. Like you, Gurudev, you are walking Rasagula for me. <laughs> Sweet inside and outside. <laughs> Sorry, I have to. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Radhe Udava. Udava. Hello, everyone. Radhe Hello. Radhe. Just to add my um, my strange view on this verse or on the commentary. It's for me. It's a it's a it's a commentary about realization. It's not about something about the world becoming sweet. It's about us realizing that the world is already sweet. As sadhikas, we don't see this. We only. We see and live misery and material desire, but when we lift ourselves to the experience of prema, of loving God, divine love, then love is everywhere. And we realize that the dirty material world in which we've been living is also perfectly beautiful, is perfectly sweet. It's a realization. When we are experiencing divine love, then we understand that all of the creation is sweet. It's just that we can't see it with our material eyes, our material ears. When we purify, then we can see. And we see that sweetness everywhere. Then there's no difference between the divine sweetness, the spiritual sweetness, and the material sweetness when we see through loving eyes. Love it.
Thank you, Adela. Now we get uh, a few in this commentary. Swamini lies to rest on an excellent bed covered with a bluish sheet. This sheet is very dear to her simply because it's black or bluish and reminds her of Shyama. She dreams of Shyam and his sweetness makes her happy inside and outside. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi can both admire her charming beauty and serve her limbs at that time. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi can both admire her charming beauty and serve her limbs at that time. How wonderful is their love for Swamini. Rupa and Tulasi's friendship is similar in this material world, where they are known as Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Das Goswami. Srila Raghunath Das introduced himself as follows by writing in the end of his Vishakananda Stotram. This garland of verses was strung by someone who subsists simply on serving the dust from Srimad Rupa Goswami's lotus feet. It's also an interesting point if I just want to add this that Rupa and, and Raghunath Goswami's they were so close already in this world. They did so many, you know, they were sharing so many things. They were, they were completely in love with each other. So like this closeness is also reflecting in the spiritual world. They did so many services together. They did so many, you know, katas. They were inspiring each other. So they are also doing it now with the Swamini. So I can also feel that the persons who are very dear to me here now in this world and who are going this path, we will do services there together as girlfriends. That is something that makes me very happy and satisfied. <laughs> we all are team players and our team is fixed, right? We are here together. And uh, we can see that something is eternal. Something is temporary, but something is eternal. And this example is very beautiful. This garland of verses. Oh, sorry. Yes. Who? Um, I don't. Did you read it? May the devotees who take shelter of him accept the fragrance of this garland. So it is to me to accept, to receive it, and to to realize that I receive this gift, to accept this fragrance. It's a seva I have to accept also this fragrance. Hmm. I can really, no, not me, I'm ashamed, oh, I'm such poor soul, no, no. No, I have to accept this fragrance, it's there. Yes, like every morning when we are in Vrindavan, there comes the fragrance. 
and Gurudev wants us to uh, smell it and take it and honor it and live in the fragrance like living in the fragrance of Swamini means to accept the fragrance and to be also sure that I am accepted and to live in this and if I forget it then I just quickly go to my manjari and ask her are you my manjari can you help me I have forgotten the 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 fragrance of Swamini or I take my perfume bottle that I got the perfume Mahapya Pyum and I, ah, this is the fra fragrance of Swamini. I need some Mahaprasad and I remember that I am one of that team. Very good, Sudhavi. Yes, who like this fragrance has to go Vrindavan in Gurudev's room every day distribution. Srila Raghunath Das introduced himself as follows. This garland of verses was strung by someone who subsists simply on serving the dust from Srimad Rupa Goswami's lotus feet. So this someone is clear who is the meaning of this someone himself, isn't it? May the devotees who take shelter of him accept the fragrance of this garland. So beautiful description, so poetical, no? Read again. This garland of verses was strung by someone who subsists simply on serving the dust from Srimad Rupa Goswami's lotus feet. So, full of love is this. May the devotees who take shelter of him accept the fragrance of this garland. So, this is also the Vilap Kushmanjali, actually, is this kind of garland, what he is strong to please his guru, Rupa Goswami. And here he is asking the devotees who take shelter on Rupa's lotus feet to accept the fragrance of this garland. And what is the fragrance actually of this garland? The fragrance of this garland our relationship and feelings. These are the real fragrance, right, Gurudev? No. Here we can go deep, get a smell from this fragrance, so Devi, by touching the lotus feet of Rupa. It is described in Bhakti Ratnakara that after reading Sri Rupa Goswami's play Lalita Madhava, which describes Sri Radhika's feelings of separation from Krishna, Sri Raghunath Das almost died of transcendental agony. So that is also interesting that he read what his Gurudev had written, the Leela, and he was so much in the Leela, and that was Leela about separation feelings, that he also, he was so much in the separation feelings that it became unbearable for him. It became visible on his body, in his eyes, in his whole being. And then Rupa Goswami actually got worried no? because he didn't know that this, what he was writing, was have such a heavy impact on his Ravadan. And it is also that this is this description, we can learn how close the feelings of the manjaris are connected to swaminis 
So they feel the pain only by when they describe this. And this is the, the reason for me, because the difference between this reading and the feeling of so me we uh, we may read something but not feel it maybe our mind can get the information yeah uh, vorstellung uh, our mind can imagine it but uh, cannot feel because we are not so close connected like this eternal liberated souls or this uh, uh, this this uh, um, eternal maid servants they they feel it just to save his life Sri Rupa Goswami gave him his Dana Keli Kamudi to read a one act play which deals with the blissful meeting of Rata and Krishna. So we can see also how close the feelings between the Manjaris are. So Rupa actually knows how to, to heal this agony, to bring him out. This agony was coming by the description of separation of Swamini. So, and then he, he gave the opposite to read, that the beauty of the meeting, blissful meeting. So by this, he gave the mercy to Raghunath. This inspired Raghunath Das to write his jewel-like one-act play named Dana Keli Chintamani. So that this is um, reminds one on on some ping pong player. They give this uh, to the other, and the other play back and play back. So it, and it increases the feelings. Sri Rupa Goswami has also written a dedication to Raghunath Das Goswami at the conclusion of his Dana Keli Kaumudi. Oh Madhava, my friend, and it was Raghunathas, has given up all other activities and is now living in a cottage on the bank of Radha Kunda, very anxious to exclusively serve you and Sri Radhika. You always cast your merciful glance on those who live in Vrindavan. And you fulfill all their desires. So please quickly make the tree of his aspirations bear fruit. These are some examples of their very intimate friendship. Tulsi and Rupa both climb on the bed to serve their Swamini. They are not all, they are not at all shy. Their servant mood is mixed with the mood of friendship for Swamini. Tulasi called Swamini Manojaridaya girl with a beautiful heart. Literally, the word manjola, manoja, means knowing the mind. Mana, kenatiti, manokya. Srimati knows what is on Rupa and Tulasi's mind. So she gives them the service, this service.
So this is also an example to us that we have to open our mind to Swamini so that she can read what is our desire for service. And actually she will give. We can read here in this verse. Swamini knows what is on Rupa and Tulasi's mind. So she gives them this service. Manoja also means beautiful one. Her endless beauty illuminates the house, the bed, and the hearts of the kinkaris. That means that Swamini's beauty illuminates the house, the bed. That means there is no something to hide to her for us. Right? This is the most private place we, we know. Because sleeping places, we hide normally to others. But here, described, so the, the bed, the most private place of the manjaris also, of the kinkaris. There is no place what is not illuminated their kinkaris. Her luster has turned Shamsundara golden, making him become Gaurasundara, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Her luster has turned Shamsundara golden. She is the quintessence of Mahabhav personified. Look, Gorasunda, like you are reading and the light comes from behind you. This is also Swamini's light. And her light is shining through all the, you know, all the kinkari stars and all the, the bed is enlightened and also the, the rooms and the whole house. And I remember that she has a blue sheet on her body. So she is at that moment, she is together with him because everything blue is her beloved. So she is in that mood and she can feel the Kinkari's feelings. They want to serve her in that mood when she is together with her beloved. That's how I feel this uh, shining is uh, explained because she's shining more and more and more when she is together with him. And then when they are together, the kinkaris, they also like to massage the feet and take menial services to make them feel ve uh, very, very happy and relaxed. I feel it's a good feeling to know that Swamini's illumination, there is nothing to hide to us. We cannot hide anything. If we go in her service, there is no private, no more private, that, no more privacy, nothing hiding. This, I, this is what I understand from, from this line that uh, she illuminates the house, the bed, and the heart. That means everything. There is not a simple point without illumination. She is the quintessence of Mahabhav personified. All the poetic analogies about Shimati Radhika's beauty, her face defeating the moon in beauty, her eyes defeating the lotus flowers and her nose defeating the sesame flowers are ultimately futile, futile. Only by her mercy in the form of ecstatic love 
she can be seen and felt in the heart, illuminated by Vishuddha Sattva, pure goodness. That means she bestowed her full mercy on those who are actually illuminated by Visuddha Sattva, Vishuddha Sattva. So we have to come on this point. Whatever falls into an ocean of nectar becomes nectarian. Similarly, the garments, ornaments and unguents of Sri Radhika, who is the personification of Mahabhav, are also filled with Mahabhav. So that means also this illumination. What is illuminated by Swamini is getting the quality of this Mahabhav, right, Gurudev? It's so beautiful, this description. We also desire this, a drop of this Mahabhav. Hmm. We can see Mahabhav. Yeah. Wow. And by our mercy, self drought come to us also. Some drought will come from us. Some drop. Oh, good. Babaji brings us so deep in the feelings of by describing I, this. No, possible. I never see this. Mm. No. Whatever falls into an ocean of nectar becomes nectarian. Similarly, the garments, ornaments, and unguents of Shiradika, who is the person personification of Mahabhav, are also filled with Mahabhav. What are the garments, ornaments, and unguents of Shiradika? Who are also filled with Mahabhav. Actually, these are her manjaris. They connecting us with her. And so, by their mercy, we can get a drop of this Mahabhav. And these manjaris like Rupa and Raghunath, they are the garments, ornaments and anjans of Sri Radhika. They always surrounded her, surrounding her. And they also filled with Mahabhav. The Mahajans relish this, and we taste their remnants. Again, we get the remnants because they are full of mercy. The Mahajans relish this, they understand. 
and help us also to understand this. Like Anandas Babaji is doing this here in this book. And we taste their remnants. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has written Rata is anointed with the fragrant, fragrant oin, oin, ointment of affection towards Krishna. This makes her very fragrant body shine brightly. She takes her first bath in the stream of the nectar of compassion. Her middle bath in the stream of nectarian juicefulness and her final bath in the stream of nectarian beauty. Then she puts on a silken blue sari made of her own bashfulness. My God. This I like to read again. This is such a beautiful description from Krishna Das. Yeah. Rata is anointed with the fragrant ointment of affection towards Krishna. This makes her very fragrant body shine brightly. She takes her first bath in a stream of the nectar of compassion. Her middle bath in the stream of nectarian juicefulness. And her final bath in the stream of nectarian beauty. Then she puts on a silken blue sari made of her own bashfulness. Her second red garment consists of passionate love for Krishna and her breasts are co covered with a blouse of loving peak. She is anointed with three ointments, the vermilion of beauty, the sandalwood pulp, of the love of her girlfriends and the comfort of her lustrous smile. Her body is decorated with mosque pictures that represent Krishna's brilliant erotic rasa. What a beautiful poison. So, Gurudev, we have often heard that that's why she is called Krishna Mahi. Inside and outside, it's all Krishna. Oh, and loud. Loud. Yes, she is Krishna Mahi. That is, that is the meaning of how she is Krishna Mahi. Inside and outside is all Krishna. But here we also hear, Gurudev, that she the beauty of her friends and of her mandaris also add, if one can say so, to this beauty. They everything increased, they increase when they are together with Swamini for the pleasure of Krishna. Because that is her own only existence. She exists for the pleasure of of him. And she wants to always increase his pleasure. And therefore, she is also using all living entities who want to engage in that service. Yeah. And she is not uh, teaching this to engage in the service of Krishna. She is teaching that if you want to love, you have to, to be one-pointed to me, to, not to Krishna. <laughs> 
then it will be not Manjariva. We will go to Gopiva. She never teach like this. She is doing, and you say, follow me. Follow me, what I do, that you do, if you have love for me. If you have a relation. Because you are baby, we are baby, we don't know much. But if you follow, so Manjari always follow to Radhika. Yes, want to. Every step what she do, she wants to learn that. That is the meaning of follow. She do for Krishna, Manjari do for Radha. Because Manjari Swami is Radha. We like her remnants, Gurudev, right? Yeah. We, we are what we eat. You say remnants means uh, this prashad means that we have to change our mood, our mallow in Dasi Bhav. To serve her. Right. What she do that I have nothing to do. That is Tadbhav Chamay Sambhoga. What you are doing, I want to do that. That is Sambhoga. That bhag chamay means what you do, I do follow that. That is Gopiva or Sakiba. Sakiba, yeah. Hmm. But bhag last bhakti means your happiness. I want to keep that always this mood to serve me. I'm happy with your happiness. Mm. Her body is decorated with musk pictures that represent Krishna's brilliant erotic rasa. Her bride is made of hidden anger and opposition and scanted powder of her calm. Yet no calm attributes adorn her limbs. So it is hidden. The red color of pan that represents her passionate love brightens her lips and her eyes have eyeliner of the crookedness of love. Her wow. body is Her passionate love brightens her lips and her eyes have eyeliners of the crookedness of love. Her body is adorned with all the ecstatic ornaments such as Sudipta Satvika Bhava and the Sanchari Bhava like Harsha or joy. She is also adorned 
with 20 other baths, such as Kila King Kinchita. Wow. Her whole body is hung with flower garlands of attributes. Her forehead is brightened by beautiful tilak of fortune. Prema Vaichitya is the jewel, and her heart is the locket. She places her hand on the shoulder of a girlfriend named Adolescence, and she is surrounded by her sakis that represent her mental activities that are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. This life, this life lasts. She is surrounded by her sakis that represent her mental activities. Wow. My mental activity. My friends make my mental activities. <laughs> so what she wants that the others will do, Gurudev? Our mental activities depend upon my friends. <laughs> mm. Sit up. <laughs> she is surrounded by her sakis that represent her mental activities that are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> See ya. So the Sakis are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. Is that the meaning, Gurudev? Yeah. And I'm Rupa, I'm Rati Mandiri, and my Guru Mandiri is concentrated in Radhika's pastimes. Radhika's pastimes. That is the meaning. So they are my friends. <laughs> they are my friends. They are my associates. There has that means our association should be the association of of those who are concentrated on Radhika's pastimes. Yeah. We should surround ourselves with those who are completely concentrated on Radhika's pastimes. If not, then we have no business. This disturbance in my mind will come. So nobody can help us. <laughs> mind can make influence very easily. Mm. Yeah. Because, see, we try to go to my Sarupa with to, to go in Radha pastime, but we will go, my association will bring me in bodily identification in Guna to live in material forms. Mm. This is the job of association. How we associate? Result coming like this. Mm. 
I'm here, I'm listening. And it's not possible to come in they, they should come in one weekend. Those who are hiding, and they are hiding, they can have to come in for one for picture. No, they're all here. No, I just had to go to I just had to go to the toilet. I'm very sorry. <laughs> this is also Gurudev's teaching. Sometimes we have to go to the toilet. Yeah, of course. Never hold it. What can I do? Problem. <laughs> hold it. Not to wait. It's more long time. Go come fast. <laughs> I went fast and I came back fast. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> disciple, Gurudev. <laughs> Sri Rupa Rupa Goswami is saying exactly what Gurudev is saying in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, that we should always associate with Satchati and Snikta devotees. So Satchati means those who have the same uh, fixation, who have the same Ekanda path, Manjari path, and Snikta means, this I find very important, that it's it's wonderful to be together with devotees, but they should also be snikta. That means they should be loving, they should be respectful, there should not be any quarrel, any any politics, anything. So snikta means you love them and they love you. So this is for me a very important, very important aspect. And it's very interesting that Rupa Goswami is writing this down hundreds and hundreds of years before. Because he, he they, the, the, the Mahachans, they are, they have the vision to see in the future. Like Yibhyasa Dev could see the future. Mm -hmm. All those Mahachans, they can see the future because today you can see it's only about me, myself and I. And it's only about the ego and, and what I can do and what I can do. So Rupa Goswami is not saying we should not associate with such person. We should associate with persons where we are feeling respected and loved. And nice. And the next important thing is Satchati. No, Snikta is good, but if Snikta is not together with Satchati, then it's also not good. So both, both must be there. And this is for me a very, very essential verse in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu that we should associate with such kind of persons. I love this verse very, very much. And Gurudev is always giving us this example. One thing more. One thing comes just from my mind. Read again. How oh, you see meditating. He places her hand on the shoulder of a girlfriend named Adolescence, and she is surrounded by her sakis. No, no, that not. Last one. She is surrounded by her sakis. That no, Radharani is meditating in Krishna. Surrounding. Yeah, this sakis. this is this first good. If I again, I, she is surrounded by her sakis that represent her mental activities that are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. You see, now I say you. Many will meditate in Krishna pastime. Hmm. <laughs> Why? Because my Radhika is meditating in Krishna pastime. And they want to be Manjali well, impossible. <laughs> because Radhika is doing, I have to do that. <laughs> hmm. I know many are doing. Mm. <laughs> I 
but they forget first line is start read again she is surrounded by her sakis read this you see surrounded by sakhi that we forget Who is Saki? My Guru Manjari, Rupa Manjari, Rati Manjari. We are surrounded with my Sakis, my my friends. That we forget. Understand? When we forget my surrounding. Then I start looking the surrounding of Radha. What she do, I do, because I have to follow. Yeah, yeah. To follow surrounding Saki, my surrounding Saki, my Guru Manjari, my Rup Manjari, my Rati Manjari. We still want to follow what Radha is doing. I have to do like that. I have to think for Krishna. Why to meditate in Radha? But our our sakis, our friends, they are surrounding, surrounded to me to teach me to follow Swami Radhika. Right. This is her love. She is doing. What about your love? Mm. Where you love? What you do? So they are surrounding me. They don't want to leave me. They want to teach me. Mm. We want to escape from them. Again, they surround us. No, mm. no, no. What a mercy! Hmm. They take care, good is. Yeah. No, you cannot. You, no, do mistake, why? No, deviate from your goal. She never deviates from her goal. Why you deviate from your goal? Hmm. <laughs> They take care of the babies. Yeah. Yeah. I so see beautiful. My, my brothers are many places is happening like this. Hmm. They don't understand. Hmm. They don't understand Krishna. Prabhupada, I think this is the point Bible chapter ten. All the schools of chapter ten is Krishna Tattvaita. Mm. Mm. What is this? Yeah. It's a small pass. A narrow path. Narrow. Her sakis that represent her mental activities that are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. What? She is surrounded by her sakis that represent her mental activities 
that are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. She sits on a bed of pride in the abode of her aroma that is her body, always thinking of Krishna. Krishna's names, attributes and glories are her earrings. That means she loves to hear about them. And Krishna's names, qualities and glories form the stream of her words. She makes Krishna drink the honey beverage called Shyama Rasa or erotic flavors. And she always fulfills all of Krishna's desires. She is a mind full of jewels of pure love for Krishna. And her body is filled with all incomparable attributes. This is, we, if we as Manjaris listen to this, this description, we always think about how to serve her, to be that, to help her, to guide her in that. But not that we start to thinking on Krishna. No, to help her that she can more even thinking on him. We remember him with words and different things as Manjari. She sits on a bed of pride in the abode of her aroma that is her body. Her aroma is her body. That means her aroma is her body. There is no difference. And she's always thinking of Krishna. Krishna's names, attribute and glories are her earrings. Finally, Gopinath. Gopinath is something. Yes, please, Gopinath. No, no, I, I just had to uh, take a call over the phone, sorry. That's this also one. good. That's also good. We just want to listen your yes. your vibration. That's already <laughs> our happiness. Very bogus vibration. Let's let's, let's take us. part. Let's take us part of your phone calls. <laughs> mm. She loves to hear about Krishna. And Krishna's names, qualities and glories form the stream of her words. Oh, Krishna's names, qualities and glories form the stream of her words. Krishna's names, Krishna's qualities and his glories form the stream of her words. She makes Krishna drink the honey beverage called Shyama Rasa. Honey wine. Honey wine. Or erotic flavors. And she always fulfills all of Krishna's desires. And we help her to do this. We guide her as her shadows. We do everything to fulfill Swamini's desires. And she always fulfills all of Krishna's desires. She is a mind full of jewels of pure love for Krishna. And her body is filled with all incomparable attributes. Incomparable, Zoga. Attributes. Her body is filled with all. Let's ask you. Incomparable. Oh. Incomparable attributes. Mm 
Oh, Bavuka, Bhakta Vrinda. That means sensitive devotees. This is the introduction to the embodiment of love for Krishna. This is only the introduction. <laughs> that is why the address Manokya Ridaye is justified here. Primati lies down on the bed prepared for her by Tulasi, like the queen of swans, lying on an ocean of milk, enjoying with Shyama in her dream. She speaks, she laughs, and she turns on her other side in her dream. Also, although Rupa Manjari usually massage Shemati's feet, she has now mercifully given that service to Tulasi and has taken to the service of Swamini's hands. She, whose heart is enchanted because she cannot tolerate another person's misery, is called Manokya. Swamini herself mercifully places her lotus feet on her Tulasi's chest, knowing how anxious she is to serve them. I have a question here to all the assembled uh, Vaishnavas. What is the meaning of sensitive devotees here? Bhavuka Bhaktavrinda. Radhe Radhe, I can say only one thing, like the, the perfect example for sensitive devotees is Gurudev and the next one was Baba. All those who Gurudev and Baba for me have been the most sensitive Mahachans I have met in my life and uh, I would say that actually they, they are the perfect example of what sensitive devotees mean. Sensitive means a Vaishnava feels the pain of other living entities. That means sensitive. Sensitive for the misery of the living entities and the eagerness to get them out of that misery by giving mercy. So this is one definition of sensitive and avoiding all kind of apparats is also one one big example being humble is one big example so here we have this sense without being sensitive i think we cannot practice raganuga bhakti maybe chayananda can help or goranga sundara i feel this is yeah this is very nicely explained our Tarun Baba. I feel this sensitive means someone who feel Baba. So means uh, so someone who is say for Manjari, someone who can feel Radha's feeling. This kind of very sensitive because Manjari knows the heart of Radharani and uh, this kind of, you know, very, uh, what do you say, can understand the deep feeling. That's, uh, this also one may say, this Babuka. Mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, <laughs> I, if I can just um, say something very, very shortly. Uh, beautiful Darshan Taran. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Janandaji, this is exactly what I also felt like. What is a sensitive devotee who understands the feeling and the heart of Radhika's condition? And if we are in that flow with Radhika's heart, 
then we become sensitive and aware to all our surroundings, right? We become aware of the one who's next to us. We also take that quality of compassion and kindness. And we also, like Guru Dev does, he understands the mind of the devotee. I'm just coming back to this one line which um, Gora was reading that Swamini understands what's in the mind of Tulsi and Rupa. Mm. And I was like, yes, this is the process because also our Guru Devi, our Guru Manjri, they know what is in our heart, what is in our mind. And according to mm. that, they give us the service. Like now Rupa is understanding the desire of Tulsi so she gives her the service of the lotus feet and she takes the hand saver. Mm. Similarly, we also have to aspire, oh, please, Guru Dev, give me also my service according to my nature, you know. And sometimes we don't even know our own nature. And in the beginning of our devotional life, when we get close to Guru Dev, he gives sometimes some seva which we don't understand, like, why is he giving this to me, you know. But he understands what we need in this moment. And similarly, I felt the more we practice, the more we do our sadhana, the more we live in, try to live in our spiritual consciousness, the more we connect with our Guru Manjri, she will give us the right time, the right seva for Swamini. Because again, Swamini knows exactly what the Manjuris need. We always hear that the mandris know what Swamini needs, but it's a beautiful reciprocal flow, like the anurag between Swamini and, and her dasis. So I was very touched by um, yeah by this and um, just coming back to the sensitivity. I'm so thankful to Tarun and Jananda to you know to to help us to understand more what the sensitiveness means in our life, how we have to be more in the flow of her what she's feeling that's the important thing, you know and then we become very very aware and sensitive to everything thank you sir also also i think it is very very important in our i'm a full-time teacher i, I work full-time in a, in a school which is full day so it is not always easy to to go into swarupa wish when you are when you are together with all the things that are happening around you. But I feel that sometimes you have to take this time and close your eyes. Nobody can anyway see what you think. So you, you it, the more we, we imagine and the more we think about our, our Swarup, the more sensitive we become. This I can say. The, I cannot do it that super often, but uh, I try my best to throughout the day to always remember that actually I have another form and uh, <clears throat> this is only possible this is not it was not possible before I met Gurudev or uh, my, my Gurudev because we have been on this on the platform of the Chiva so when you meditate that you are an eternal soul uh, the, the sensitivity cannot develop as much as when you know what is your Svarub so when you know that you are eternal there will develop some some feelings of you know we can never die and we are eternal. Uh, but when you get uh, into contact with a genuine guru who is revealing the swarupa to you, this is something something very very substantial. Like it is said that when you what what happens when we meditate on the name of the Lord Nama Rupa Guna. So all these things will be revealed. In our, in our heart. So the same is in our Swarup, which is also from Swarupa Shakti, when we meditate about our Swarup, the name and the form and the qualities of our Swarup will also be revealed. And I think the more we do this, the more we really catch our monkey mind and the more we tell him, you rascal, uh, you know that you are this and this manjari. And the more you can do this, I feel the more sensitivity will develop in the heart. My heart is much too hard, <laughs> uh, but but the more you 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 do this, the more you can actually develop that sensitivity. And I, I also I also realize the other thing: the less you do it, uh, the less you you remember your eternal form, the less sensitive you become, and the more into Maya you drift away. So this is. 
you walk on the razor edge, you can say. You have to be really, really, really careful to every day at least sometimes remember. You, into Bajan, I'm, I'm not talking about Bajan. Bajan, of course, you remember who you are. But in the, for us who live in the outside world and who are entangled in daily activities, it is very helpful to sit down and to just contemplate, okay, I'm in a conference of 26 teachers now, but honestly speaking, I close my eyes now and I try to imagine that I have also a different form. So this helps very much in becoming more and more sensitive this is how how i i try to do it rather hi Rade. thank you Tarun Baba. i like to add something to all your beautiful explanations to what is meaning of sensitivity sensitive devotees gurudev I, what I can feel is what you are doing. This is meaning of sensitive. Um, when we, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I can, I cannot agree with you in that moment. Sorry, <laughs> because well, what is meaning of sensitivity? You need the for the fine tuning. You need peaceful hands and you need to understand the technique of, for example, a radio. Then you cannot, in the beginning, we come to you as atheists, as uh, monotheists, are different, different people. And then you make some tuning to us. You tune us maybe to understand what is the soul, what is gopi. And then again, if we get something, then you tune again more fine. You teach us the difference between a sake and the manjari and even a kinkari. And this is uh, uh, what I can feel, your sensitivity. You, you, you understand how to tune every single soul to get this manjari and this is uh this is sensitivity in my mind what what you doing that is what uh also uh ananda das babaji is also here explaining they have this unbelievable uh sensitive uh senses senses to tune us on this very fine level of a manjari. There is left and right side, there is so many different things. And we are so easy to find this, this uh, uh, Krishna uh, uh, Zender, what heißt denn das? This is a Krishna radio station, I will say. Krishna's radio station is very easy to find on the radio. But to find a Radha Dasyam radio station, there is only a small, a very small uh, uh, thing to get it. And this is the expertise of the Guru to tune us and for this, he has to be very sensitive. So we yeah. see there is... Sensitivity is guidance. Right? I mean, how much condensed our sarup become, we become sensitive. How condensed we are. We see our Guru Manjari, uh, Rupa and Brachi Manjari, how they were fixed in the service of Swami. Mm. Krishna is nearby everywhere, surrounding to Swami, but their sensitiveness is only for Radhika. 
and they never fit other thing than Guru Manjari mm. without the mercy Guru Dev that he said, if you want to be sensitive, never leave your Ishadev. And when I never leave my Ishadev, the how I can leave my Guru Dev? Mm. Guru. And when it's happening, then Rupan Rati is helping. Leaving to Guru Manjari, nothing going to understand. This is also one such mm. No diversion comes from our Guru Manjari and Easter Day. Mm. In any circumstances, my Maya not catch me. Maya bring us out to me. Sensitive devotee, very care. Mm. They are only watching inside them and they do inner sadhana for their development. Mm. Always they are busy. Hmm. Uh, intense. Not passing time. It should be intense by them and in intense as well. Intense. Without intense. Result will not pass. Again, I will go jump back to my material identification. <laughs> Only to move from my material identification to my self identification, we have to do sadhana. Then you say sadhana is not necessary, is a kripa sadhana. But my desire has to be there, my greed has to be there, then mercy comes. Mm -hmm. Baby has to cry, then mother take in the land. Mm. If I know mm. what divine mother will take play with the coins. Mm. That is sadhana to cry. Mm. So what we are crying for material thing, we have to cry for our Sarupa in the Seva, for the Seva. Hmm. Seva and Bhajan is very important to come out from material to spiritual identification. Hmm. And then bhajan. Hmm. When the degree is there, then bhajan is tasteful. Last week, Gurudev, you gave advice to chant Karma Gayatri for one week to get this result, right? You remember? 
All right, open fan. Yeah. To intensify our bhajan. And uh, one thing happened there, there is, you, you give also some hint to, to how to meditate on this, that this, this love, love God, this Krishna, this Kama Dev, how he fell unconscious by a sidelong glance of Swamini. And uh, but what is actually this unconsciousness of Krishna? This is uh, I like to ask you what is his uh, actually when he because the the, the manjaris are very expert and sensitive to wake him up to do. Uh, to, uh, to to come in an active uh, uh, moment to Swamini because she is waiting to him, and she cannot he cannot be unconscious. But what is this when he is when he feels falls unconscious by her sidelong glance? Isn't it the most? the highest uh, happiness what he can get? That is the point. Unconscious happen when we overdrunk. Overdrunk, yeah. Overdrunk. Overdrunk. So, overdoses. Overdose make unconscious. <laughs> I am taking only one peg I have to take, but here whole bottle I have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Krishna, they all ready to give many, many things to do. You become unconscious, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Overdrunk. Unexpected, if he gets something, he overdrunk. <laughs> Guru Kripa also sometime happened and he gives Kripa and we, the disciple, overdrunk. When overdrunk, then he forgets his body conscious. Mm. We don't know what is happening in material world. When, when it happens, when we forget all material things, over time, drunk people see, they don't see the drain and they don't, don't know anything. Because of overdrive, they have no idea. They are walking. Or not working, they can do something or not something. It's too much. Uh, uh, what I know, expect more than that happens. That's the word. But so the Swami is not satisfied yet. How can he be unconscious? Because he overdrank, but she wants to give more. <laughs> he is not satisfied to give. He want to. She want to give more, and he didn't give and overdrunk. <laughs> so he has to come as a mahaprabhu. to more, more valley. And more to bring. Over drunk people 
everything forgets. We cannot see anything. <laughs> You have to do something. <laughs> you have to touch the thing. In the floor, I think that it, this is my bed. <laughs> Seven. Ice. That is this over drink. Kirpa. That is the Swami. I think someone who has overdrunk, that who is take, tasting Madanakya Mahababa. Like Guru Devi. I cannot go so up, but I taste the Kripa of my Guru. Mm. I always mention that three, four times. He made me overrun six months. I cannot come up from my what you say. I don't <laughs> ecstasy. <laughs> I don't remember. I eat, I have to wash my hands. I don't know what what prashad I have to eat, my taste and everything, anything. I don't know outside. My body, outside, I have to clean it. I have to go to toilet to clean it. I don't know. One person is taking care that I wash or not. What happened? I cannot explain it. I am sitting, I am sitting. One place, no moving any place. Chanting, then chanting whole day, whole day. <laughs> like this, over time. Only I see Leela symptoms. Only the past time of Radha. I was in Grasthasam that time. Mm. Not I was renounced and asked you to be there. Normal Grasthasam. Hmm? Radhe. And everything can happen. I feel this, that everything can happen. Hmm. Rupa make you to realize about Rati Mandiri, Rupa Mandiri, Sanatan Goswami. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, without Kripa, how I can understand? Nityananda Tattu, Prabhupada Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada Chaitanya Tattu, without Kripa, how can I understand? Mm.
to bless me that I can be a student, that his mercy I can receive all the time. I have to be a good student of my children. He always wow. gave me a love that I always feel it. Hmm. Wow. Love. I, I, I want to again read one verse last time. Yeah. When you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. That was the part of the reading today. Uda, would you like to add something? I saw it just now. I really would. Thank you. Thank you. I want to I add. Mean, uh, oh, good. Also. Sorry, please. Good of the God of Krishna is coming. Hmm? When the name of God and Krishna is coming, you have to know Krishna is never alone. He's not alone. Energy of Krishna is inside. Hmm. <laughs> Who love Krishna, he see that. Uh, who love energy of Krishna, he, he see that. Krishna means also Radhika. Hmm. That's it. Two soul in one body. One see Krishna, one see Radha. One see the energy of Krishna. One see the Creator, Lord. Both are good. He is a Creator. He is also very good. But the Creator is what is the meaning? If there is no love, mm. the energy is just fulfilling love in all his creation. All in his molecules of his creation. Because he cannot take without love. Mm. Radha, Tasi, see every place Radhika. And Krishna devotee, see every place Krishna. That means Radha, Dasi, see also when they see Krishna, they see Radha. Because energy is Radha then. He, he mad for love. Hmm. You know, mad for other things, save me. And who is love? And what he needs? Mm. <laughs> so, who can do this? My Swami says. The good that is his creator. That uh, some love can more expand every creation of the love. Right? That is universal. So, But this cannot possible without fixing by mercy of Guru Kripa a style of 
in our history. History. One point in history. When that it will condense, your eyes will see every place to help. Mm. Feeling to feel every place to help. Because of your salute is happening. That that is sense of you. Mm. That's your sense. Yeah. <laughs> If you see her everywhere, good if you you cannot say that she is not in you. You cannot neglect yeah, yourself. I think that I can do that is only words is not realization, not experience. Yeah. I need the blessing of Vaishnava. Hmm. That I can feel and deep. Hmm. Important. And it's not this. What? It said Bavuka, but it said Bhakta Vrinda. Bhavukta also, who has an intense feeling that is Bhavukta, is my father, right one. Poem in the heart when it is full of feelings. That is how For we cannot live without feeling. Bhavuk is a drunk. It already drunk by the much of his Yes. But he, because he is following the drunk Bhakta Vrinda. By the mercy he drank. Yeah. By the mercy of Bhakta Vrinda. Yes. He became Babuka. Otherwise it's not. No, see, Sensitive devotee or sensual devotee? More than one thing. But your friend will make you to drink one bottle. <laughs> yeah. So they recommend better to drink in home, not with their friends. <laughs> This is the worst drunkards who are drinking at home, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Idly concealing themselves. The drunk is a, this is the mercy when he start drinking. <laughs> at home. <laughs> this is the Mahajan. Wie hieß der Kunsch nochmal, oder wo Mahaprabhu immer? Ja, vor dem Stab. Wie vor dem Stab. Ja, den haben wir schon. Der Artist da. Sri Radhe, Jai Jai, Sri Radhe. Sri Radhe. Sri Radhe. Sri Radhe. Sri Radhe. Sri Radhe.